a jungle woman. <laughs> What's up guys, just here in Chiang Mai, Thailand and I've got some snacks, some durian and some sugar sweet pineapple and mango. This whole full container was only a few dollars and this is my second time having durian in Chiang Mai just because the quality isn't as good here as the south. Um, they tend to use pesticides and they put a ripening agent on them. But I was lucky enough to find this stall and this is really good. This is the Chani variety. Today's video. Did you fail the vegan diet or did the vegan diet fail you? So the past few weeks on Instagram, I've seen quite a few people that I know used to be vegan. Uh, they used to post about the health benefits, the weight loss benefits, the animal rights, the whole ethics side to it on their stories and in their feed. And now they've got meat, dairy and eggs in their stories. I'm just like, you know, like, well, what's happened here? And naturally, I'm curious. So I messaged a couple of them and I didn't have a go or anything because what's the point in that? You know, I just want to create a comfortable space where people can tell me anything and where people can tell me the truth. So I asked a couple of them and they both had the same reasons that they didn't feel satisfied eating a vegan diet. They always felt hungry eating a high carb, low fat vegan, so now they're back on the meat, dairy and eggs. And it makes me sad because the vegan diet didn't fail them, they just did not adequately prepare themselves. Because as we know, plant foods are lower in calories than animal products. So you have to have a backup plan if you don't have access to sweet fruit. Because otherwise you're just going to be so hungry and then you want to binge. And then for some people, that binge ends up being on animal products. Because they got so ravenous, their bodies were like, feed me the most calorie dense thing you can find. And unfortunately that is animal products. And... Some people may say eating meat is a personal choice, but eating meat is not a personal choice because there are so many factors involved with that. The animals are dying, there's people starving, and you're damaging the environment by eating meat as well. So it's not just like, here's the meat on my plate, I'm going to eat this, it's a personal choice because there's so much more to it. And then some people will say, I was so weak on a vegan diet, I was fragile, I was frail, and I just felt like crap. And then as soon as I started eating meat again, I felt good. And they instantly blame the vegan diet. But they were just not eating enough, they were calorie restricting, so of course you're going to feel weak. You'll feel weak calorie restricting on any diet. The people who are talking about a vegan diet making them weak, they easily influence other people with that belief, which makes it harder for us to show them how great veganism really is. Eating a high carb, low fat diet, I am so healthy, I haven't been sick for a long time, um, I'm happy pretty much every day, I've got energy, I've got stamina, my fitness is going up, um, I'm not crawling along that floor on all fours like some people imagine vegans. And people are just too quick to judge, just because they didn't eat properly on the vegan diet doesn't mean they can then point their finger on it and say that it's the cause of their problems. <coughs> oh, that was a nice durian burp. Anyway, uh, people come to a vegan diet and then over time they get too focused on being a purist. This whole purism, ridiculous. They won't eat any foods that have some added sugar, added salt or a bit of oil. If you're dead hungry and that's the only option, then eat it. People get so obsessed with whole foods and no processed foods, but that's just not sustainable because that's going to set you up for a mad binge and over time you'll be back on the animal products and blaming the vegan diet for leaving you a starving wreck. I'm not saying go eat vegan junk food every day because that's going to cause weight gain and you're going to feel grimy and not feel good. But what I'm saying is we need to make our health a priority. We've got one body. Treat it properly. <laughs> so. Buy your boxes of bananas early in the week so they have time to ripen. Buy your dates. Source out some good fruit from local organic shops, from farmers markets. Because it's just like, I don't understand how people can eat such crap. Like, how can you disrespect yourself like that? People will say, I was bored, I was depressed. But just eating that food, it's 
not going to help you recover from that. You're going to feel so shitty. 